Hello, human. Thank you for being on the channel. Dr. Manhattan versus Lucifer. Who would win in a fight to the death? Who would win? Would there be any collateral damage? Let's look at these characters. Dr. Manhattan is a character that came into existence in the Watchmen storyline. He is by far the most powerful character in that universe. And then Dr. Manhattan crossed over into the main DC continuity with Doomsday Clock. So we have a character that can cross over to different continuities. Dr. Manhattan is also a person that can uh, use energy projection if he wants. He can manipulate energy. He can alter the size of his body. He understands the past, present, and future simultaneously. He can see all these things, which allows him to... Uh, make better decisions. It allows him to come up with questions to which he has to find the answers to. He is forever learning, even though he seemingly has all the answers. Because while he has the answers in front of him, he still wants to be in those moments all at once to the best of his ability. We have seen Dr. Manhattan reassemble himself when he was uh, temporarily destroyed by Ozymandias, the smartest person in Dr. Manhattan's universe. We see that Dr. Manhattan can create life. He can create planets. He can do different things in terms of creation. To be able to create life is very powerful. You know, we've seen this from Dr. Manhattan. When he crossed over into the main DC continuity, he was able to defeat all of the well-known DC characters in one fell swoop. Got rid of them in seconds. They stood no chance. There was no fight. Dr. Manhattan annihilated them all. When Dr. Manhattan dealt with Superman, it was really something that was a surprise in terms of how the Doomsday Clock storyline uh, ended. If you haven't read that and you're interested in it, I won't spoil that ending for you. But it is a very surprising and powerful ending, how they decided to do that. So Dr. Manhattan could essentially do almost anything he wants in the realms of powers. So we go over to Lucifer Morningstar. Lucifer Morningstar is, of course, one of the most powerful DC characters, one of the most powerful comic book characters of all time. This is a character who can only be killed by God. Nothing and no one else can kill this man. If you're not the God, it's a problem. You can't do anything to Lucifer. Okay? So I want you to think about this. While Lucifer, as powerful as he is, he can't create things on his own. He must work with like an archangel Michael or his niece. And from there... He can create a universe if he wants to. He just needs a little bit of assistance. But for him to be able to do that means that he is extremely intelligent. So Lucifer, he can fly. He has nigh omnipotence, omniscience, uh, omnipresence, dimensional travel, and interstellar travel. He has energy projection. He could do magic, pyrokinesis. He can alter reality. He has telekinesis, and that's just to name some of the stuff that this character can do. So when you're talking about Dr. Manhattan versus Lucifer Morningstar, who would win in a fight? Whether you're talking about a fight or a fight to the death, who would win? It seems to be that the answer is Lucifer Morningstar. Now, Dr. Manhattan, on the surface, is more impressive and seemingly more powerful than Lucifer Morningstar. However, because Lucifer Morningstar can only be killed by God, Dr. Manhattan is like a god, but he's not really a god. Dr. Manhattan won't be able to defeat Lucifer Morningstar. Lucifer Morningstar has a lot more experience than Dr. Manhattan because he's been around before creation. He was God's favorite angel, then, of course, you know, Lucifer was just like, God is on some bullshit. I'm going to stand up to him. I'm going to fight for uh, whoever follows him. And then you know the rest from there. 
My thing is, I don't think that this will be a quick sort of battle. It will take a while. But Lucifer Morningstar will figure out how to do away with Dr. Manhattan, or at the very least, figure out a way to contain Dr. Manhattan. As Dr. Manhattan, despite the fact that he is powerful, he can, you know, vaporize somebody in an instance, he can wipe out all these other DC heroes, he can see the past, present, and future simultaneously, I guess it would be in that moment that Dr. Manhattan sees his own demise, or he sees that he will be contained by Lucifer Morningstar. When you're in a position to where you can't do anything to your opponent because you are not a specific being, then that is problematic. It literally makes it impossible for you to win when you're going up against this person. So if you're not God, you absolutely cannot beat Lucifer Morningstar. So such things in terms of what these characters can do Maybe that surprises you, but this is just the nature of the game when you are talking about two powerful beings. Like, what sets them apart from each other? There's usually a difference or a bunch of differences, but I think the fact that Lucifer, uh, since he can only be killed by God, is what's going to end up making him victorious. Now, I want you to understand this. If you're talking about a fight to the death, Dr. Manhattan can't kill Lucifer Morningstar, but Lucifer Morningstar can find a way to kill Dr. Manhattan or find a way to contain him. So at the end of this, you will have Lucifer Morningstar either winning a fight to the death or he's going to win the fight by containing. You know, to win a fight doesn't necessarily mean that you have to kill your opponent. It just means that you have to stop your opponent from being able to attack you any further. When you're talking about a physical exchange, exchange of powers and things of that sort. But this is a very interesting matchup. This is something that was circulating around the internet and different humans were giving their opinions on it. And I wanted to kind of say what I think would happen. Because for a second I was thinking, well, it can go either way. But at the same time, only God can kill Lucifer. So Lucifer has a huge advantage over pretty much anyone you can name just for that one factor. And that's some crazy shit. You can let me know down in the comment section which character you like better and how you see this sort of fight playing out. But please take in consideration what I just told you about Lucifer Morningstar. Maybe you already know about Dr. Manhattan. Maybe you didn't fully know. Maybe, maybe you didn't fully know about Lucifer. Either way, I hope this video was uh, entertaining and informative, and I appreciate you being here. So, you be sure to like this video and share it with the humans you know. And then, you punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. And until next time, Terrence out.